What a call assist, LD call assist. How important are they and how do we use them? Well, I'm going to be going through all of that in this video, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, VL here. Been a while since I last made a video guide. So today we will discuss the upcoming new feature, the Call Assist, aka Level 80 Crystal Awakenings, which will be arriving soon in the global server. So for Crystal Level 80 Awakening, I won't really be going through what you will be getting since there really isn't much aside from stats increase and some minor party stats boost for certain characters at Crystal Level 78. There really isn't that much to talk about but the call assist oh yeah this is the spicy part and we will talk about how useful call assist will be and how it can be game changing for certain fights and at the later end of the video i will showcase some clips of me using certain call assist and ld call assist just to give you guys a clearer picture on what they do as usual Timestamps will be in the description box below if you would like to jump to the certain topics you want to know more about. So before we go over and talk about the usefulness of call assist, let's learn how to unlock them first. So let's go over to the party menu first. And here, as you can see, I have Yuffie and Alize here at crystal level 71. And if you're wondering why are they only still at level 71 instead of 80, well that's because at crystal level 71, your character max level increases from 70 to 80, similar to crystal level 51 and 61. And yeah, of course, I brought them to 71 because... <coughs> Okay, notice the circle here. This is where you equip the call assist. And if you tap it, it says crystal level needs to be level 75 in order to equip it. Well, let's double check it just in case I'm wrong. Let's go to Google Translate app over here. Let's crop it. And translate. Whoa, a default ad? By the way, totally not a sponsor for this video. So as you can see, it reads, Call character when awakening 75 will be able to set. Yep, sounds about right. So for those who aren't familiar with Japanese, yeah, that's how Japanese are uh, spoken or communicated. Their grammar and vocabulary are arranged differently as compared to speaking English. So if we were to arrange them properly, there, you will be able to set call character when awakening 75. There, much better. And yes, call character means call assist in case if you're wondering. So let's go ahead and crystal awaken Yuffie first to crystal level 75. So here's a quick look for you guys and what stats you will be getting. The important crystal levels that affects the call assist are religious crystal level 75 and crystal level 80. Crystal level 80 are usually in general just to help boost the damage or the effectiveness of the set unit's call assist. So let's go ahead and give Yuffie a level 75 awakening. And back to the party setup menu. So as you can see, the call assist circle looks different. Now it looked as if you can slot something in. Well, that's because you can now. So let's try slotting a call assist for Hufi by going through the call assist tab here. 
as you can see these are the few characters that i have either at crystal level 80 and some at crystal level 75 because they're uh, 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 useless. 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 <laughs> okay, let's give Cater some love here by having her equipped to Yuffie. So there you go. That's how you equip a call assist. Simple as that. You can either drag out the call assist to remove it or replace it by dragging another call assist on top of it. So as you can see, Alize isn't able to equip Kater's call assist yet. So let's go ahead and crystal level Alize to level 75. Okay, let's go back to the party menu. And there you go. Notice the difference between before and after. Also, notice that Yuffie's call assist and Alice's call assist has the restricted word there. Well, that's because you cannot equip a call assist if that unit is already in the party. Meaning, Yuffie cannot equip Alice's call assist since Alice is in the party. And Alice cannot equip Yuffie's call assist since Yuffie is also in the same party. The reason the dev chose to do that is because some units call assist can be really, really powerful. I mean, let's take Cloud for an example. Can you imagine if Cloud can equip his own call assist and have him doing another turn delay with his LD call assist? which we will get into in a second about LD call assist. And could you imagine Cloud equipping Cloud, calling Cloud for help and better because Cloud Now, yes, LD call assist. Let's talk about that. So LD call assist is where you can also use that it character's LD as a call assist. Yup, you heard that right. You can use the said character's LD as a call assist. Which is why I said, could you imagine Cloud equipping its own call assist and have Cloud use Okay, okay, we get it. So notice that the color of the call assist and LD call assist is different. Yep, so that's how you tell the difference. A blue circle means that character only has call assist whereas the orange circle means that that character has both call assist and a LD call assist. Now, how do we get LD call assist? Do we further enhance our character crystal level strength? No, 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 no. That's not how you do it. Well, as of now, the only way to get LD call assist first, of course, you will need to have that character's LD weapon. And then you will need to go to the character bot, aka the training bot section, and use the points that you earn through events to unlock them. As you can see here, my cloud has the LD bot. Yeah, we call this section the LD bot. Take note that LD bots only appear if you have their LD. But take note that LD bot was only released right around when Divine Diablos dropped in JP. So Makina and Ramza were the first to receive LD bots in JP. So events and characters moving forward that comes with an LD will have their LD bots. But that doesn't mean that all characters that already have their LD weapons prior will have their LD bots unlocked. Uh, at least not yet, they will eventually get the LD bot. Similarly to how EX Plus was slowly released back then during the Chaos era. They will come, so don't worry about it. I mean, we see that Lightning's LD bot got released eventually, so has Cloud. And so has. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, 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 LD. Uh, uh. 
There's one. And uh uh uh, uh oh <laughs> oh there's two. <laughs> oh. Also, that squall reaction video you guys saw a sec ago belongs to Black Nero. Big big shout outs to him for allowing me to use his video and if you haven't subbed to him please sub to him i'll leave a link to his channel and he's also a great great content creator previously i mentioned about his video where he talked about the differences between knight and warrior of light he's also released a very informative video uh, discussing and sharing about the armor token shortage in jp now, uh, to be honest, I was actually wanting to cover that myself, but he did it so, so much better. And yes, armor shortage is a thing now in JP. I won't go any full details about the armor token shortage in JP. So if you are interested and I'm thinking that you have a lot of armor tokens to play around with, um, please do check out his video. And no, this is not me and Black Nero trying to create fear mongering. This is called PSA. Uh, I, I just hope that the global players won't face this issue. Okay, I digress. Back to topic. And to close things, let me summarize what I have pointed out for call assist and LD call assist. First, you can only equip call assist by crystal awakening your units to at least level 75. Second, you cannot equip the same call assist if that unit is in the same party setup. Third, as for what skills you might be wondering will be used during call assist, will it be skill 1 or skill 2 of that unit? But as of now, it's totally random. We see that Setzer's call assist is Freeze Joker, which is his skill one. But Cloud's call assist is Finishing Touch, which is his skill two. So we wouldn't really know for sure, but as far as I can tell, most of the time the skill with the better utility is usually selected as the call assist. Ah, uh, please don't quote me on that. That is just based on uh, my experience. <coughs> Lastly, this one can be important to note. If the call assist you are equipping is not fully geared, then your damage output will be really low because the damage done by your call assist is depending on whatever items you equip them with. Does that mean I have to invest on every single f***ing kit on all of my call assist? No, you don't have to. At least for me, I didn't have to. Well, some units, yes, but not all have to. And why is that? Because all call assist or LD call assist should, in my opinion, really be treated as an utility. Okay, let me explain. Remember my previous video, I stated that enemies will have more gimmicks when they reach certain of their HP threshold? Yeah, let's take a look at some clips some future fights that you guys will be encountering. So here are a few clips that I will be showing you guys just to give you guys a rough idea on how I personally like to use my call assist. For Fiat 20 or Dimensions N20, I use Setzer here to prevent the bosses from dealing any incoming HP damage. Here's Hope using his skill 1 to further extend Gladio's LD by a turn, as shown over here. And his LD also helps to extend Gladio's LD by a turn. Very very useful for boss rush events. Sars is also able to help extend buffs by one turn as well if you were to choose him as your call assist. For the bears, I use Jack to insta break them when they reach a certain of their HP threshold. Oh yeah, it's the bears again. I use a Militalian to set their grave to zero so that I can break them later on. Or 
Kaya's LD Core Assist to force break them, or Bart's LD Core Assist work as well. Ugh, I hate these prayers. For 9's Lost Chapter, Fujin's Core Assist was used just to counteract the boss Slufania condition. If you're wondering what Fujin's Core Assist does, she gives wind enchantment to the party, which helps to increase the op count for this particular fight. Onion Knight's LD Core Assist is pretty good for setting up party or setting up your characters that you want to go into burst phase, or even helps setting up launches, placing Kai's at the right spot. Moreover, his LD gives everyone a free skill usage after that. Ramza's LD core assist is pretty good as well to launch and delay target's turn. So that's it. That's more or less the basics on what you need to know about core assist in general. So whether or not you want to fully invest on a character to benefit on their core assist and LD core assist is entirely up to you. Because most of the time, I usually just treat my core assist and LD core assist as a utility. For me at least, that's how I usually use all of my core assist. It's very rarely where I use a DPS core assist Actually, I don't even remember if I use any DPS call assist or not. Alright, I hope you guys managed to learn a thing or two in this video. Let me know if I missed out anything. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, dislike it if not, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye! <laughs>